So to export our movie, it's pretty simple. We just go up to File, Export, and select Movie. And here we can select our video format. I always do QuickTime Movie personally. And we can click Browse to navigate to where we want to save it. And we'll give it a name and click Save. And we can select how many frames we want, or we can select to export the whole animation. And for resolution, I'll keep it as the same scene resolution. Now here's the important part. Under our movie options, this will bring up the QuickTime options. So you could leave these just as default as they are, but I would recommend changing the sound settings from a sample rate of 22. And I would change that to either 44 or 48. This scene doesn't have any sound, so it doesn't really matter. And I would also change it to stereo. And for a compressor, I'd just pick one of these. Usually the one I go with is this 24-bit integer one. And then press OK. So that'll export higher quality sound and compress it a bit so it won't be as big. Under the video settings, if you want to export an animation that's not compressed at all, you want to either select the animation codec or the PNG codec. And these codecs may be different depending on your computer. But yeah, the PNG or the animation codec will export an animation with no loss of quality, which means it's going to be huge. Um, most of the time I don't use these unless I'm exporting for compositing. So if I'm just exporting to upload to a website, I'll use H.264. And for the frame rate, I'll leave it at current. And here's the important part when you're using H.264. You want to make sure to set this keyframes to be all, or else it's not going to work. So just make sure you have all selected and it should be fine. And for encoding, I'm going to put it under faster encode and I'll put it on the best quality and data rate. I'll leave as automatic and then I'll press OK. And now our settings are the way we want it. We can press OK and OK again and it will start exporting. So now our video is exported and we can take this file and we can upload it to YouTube or share it however we like. I hope this set of tutorials has been helpful to you. I've enjoyed making them and personally, I love Toon Boom Harmony. It's my favorite animation program. So I hope some of these tips will help you in making your own stories. Thanks for hanging out with me, and until next time, bye bye